Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Children's Corner. Happy Sabbath, and I hope you and your families are staying safe and well. This morning, I want to share a little science experiment with you. How many of you have ever um, had to do laundry with your parents? Maybe you were outside playing and you fell and you got green stains on your shirt, or maybe you were playing in the dirt and you got dirt on your white socks. Well, when you came in and sorted the laundry with mom or dad, or maybe you do your own laundry, you decided you were gonna wash. And in order to get stains out of white clothes, we use something called bleach. Well, I wanna talk a little bit about how bleach works. You see, bleach is an oxidizer and it gets things clean. So today we're gonna say that bleach represents the blood of Jesus. Well, when you take bleach and pour it into your laundry along with your detergent and the water, it washes your clothes and it gets them clean and turns them white again. So let's imagine that our clothes are this glass of blue water and it represents you and me and our sins. So when you take that bleach and you pour it into the water, something happens. And as you can see, the water goes from being blue to becoming more and more clear. And we'll let that continue stirring. Now remember, this glass represented you and me and our sinful selves. But when we allow Jesus to be poured into us, we become clean. Well, how does that work? Why does bleach work? Well, bleach is an oxidizer. It causes the molecules of color in the food coloring, which is in the water, which is what makes it blue, it causes those molecules of food coloring to change and it makes the color disappear. That's what Jesus and his blood does for you and me. When we take Jesus in by studying his word, by praying, by listening to his voice through our parents and our pastors and our teachers, Jesus comes into us and helps make us clean. And he gets rid of our sins. In fact, I want to share a Bible verse with you that talks about that. This comes from 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, God is in the light. We should live in the light too. If we live in the light, we share fellowship with one another. And when we live in the light, the blood of the death of Jesus, God's son, is making us clean from every sin. So just like the bleach or the blood of Jesus, which we said it represents, makes us clean, Jesus' blood makes you and me clean. So this week, I want you to remember, if you make a mistake, you can go to Jesus and ask him to cleanse you from sin. Please do that this week. At this time, let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for another Sabbath day. Thank you for the blood that you shed on Calvary that makes us clean. Help us to always come to you and ask you to cleanse us from our sins and mis mistakes and thank you for always hearing and answering that prayer. In your name we pray, amen. Have a great Sabbath, boys and girls.